Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Kaylana, The Blush Driver, and well, I am going to uh, talk a little bit about a few things, and um, I know I may not have been blogging as much, but I've just been really busy and just been planning and taking care of some things, and so, you know, just being a mom and working. Um, however, um, without going into a whole lot of detail, I know that you guys know about an incident. I don't want to keep bringing it up that I had back in May with a uh, grocery store worker um, locally here in the Orlando area and she worked in the deli anyway basically I had some problems with that and she lied on me and told um, corporate and called Instacart it was a whole bunch of mess and so um, even though I tried to rectify the situation and they didn't want to do anything so basically I was on my own and so um, one thing I am noticing is that when it comes to grocery delivery well I can only say this with Instacart that Instacart, it seems like they won't stick up for you when it comes to um, situations with employees or managers in these uh, stores, whether it be a grocery store or whether it be a shopping store or a mall, whatever. And so I, I just kind of feel like they want, it's, it's like Instacart wants us to play by these rules that they have when it comes to customers, when it comes to store etiquette, but never do they say anything about protecting us from the customers or protecting us from, you know, uh, harassment and things like that with some of these uh, store workers and even the managers, okay? And so um, I just kind of noticed that since I had the issue with her, um, which I'm, I'm still kind of like, whatever, because what she said was a total lie and anyway so I'm, I'm not gonna go back there so anyway um I just noticed that you know I have been going through some things with some of these managers it's not all of them but I just noticed this one store in particular that I go to frequently when I do Instacart orders um I don't go there all the time but I go there a lot of times and uh one of the one of the um managers there really attractive guy very attractive but he's really nice but I, I just I just know that he's really flirtatious there's very flirtatious and so and, and, and I'm sure he probably gets a lot of attention from women but when I come in these stores I'm, I'm coming there to shop for the customer um, I'm in and I'm out I mean I don't pay attention to that kind of stuff so and plus I don't want to get myself involved into anything or get in trouble or, or anything being said about any type of inappropriate behavior um, I understand like when we shop in these stores of course most of us are over 18 or over 21 so of course you know I know we're all adults and I'm sure that some people may think, well, you're an adult, you know, you can do what you want. And I understand that, but not when it comes, and to me, this is like my job. And so like, not when it comes to, um, you know, work, you know, and stuff like that. I just don't mix that in. And, um, but he's, he's nice and everything, but it's just that, um, you know, I just could tell like the, the flirtation thing. And so I kind of backed off from him. And like, whenever I would come to the store, I would be really quick with him. Like, I, like, I wouldn't try to conversate with him or anything. If, if he was speaking, you know, I was speaking, I was keeping moving, you know, um, he's like, good morning. How you doing? I'm like, hello. And I keep it going. You know what I'm saying? And so I know some, <clears throat> some Instacart shoppers, like they're extra, extra, extra friendly to a lot of the supervisors and managers. There's nothing wrong with that, but, um, I'm very discernful and I can pick up on people's vibe. And especially as a woman, like we know, I mean, and not that there's, not that there's anything wrong, wrong with a man, of course, you know, trying to holler at a woman that he might be attracted to. But my thing is, especially dealing with Instacart and dealing with some of these grocery stores, like I just don't want nothing to pop off and then something gets said, you know, and ever since that issue with that chick that lied on me, it's, it's just been kind of like, okay, you know, but I just kind of feel like, like when some of these cashiers, like, like when you, it's like some of these cashiers don't have the best attitudes in the world. And even like, <clears throat> you know, you come to, come to check out. And if you have like a double batch or, or a triple batch and you have like three different orders or two different orders, they seem to get like an attitude about that. Like they have like an attitude with you. And my thing is like, that's what you do. You scan groceries and you put them in a bag, you know, but they just seem like they have an issue if you have separate orders. Some of these cashiers, um, they just seem like they just, not all of them, not all of them. I'm just saying some of them I've ran into, especially at this particular store, um, just got like issues you know and so my thing is the, the majority of the time when I come into some of these stores I have on my earphones and I just block I, you know, I just block everything out just pretend like I don't hear nothing you know or see anything but um you know sometimes I, I I do get some of these cashiers that when I check out um I have like for instance if I have a double 
or a triple batch or whatever i always separate them you know by like those little dividers like like when you go to the to the checkout counter or whatever there's like those those little dividers that you can put between your groceries i put those up there and i let them know but then sometimes they'll, they'll take them off and scan my stuff anyway just to be petty and so um i have to try to keep myself calm because one thing i'm noticing is that there's this one particular manager at this grocery store uh that i go to he I don't know what it is about him, but he just seems like he doesn't like me for some reason. Not that I should care because I don't, but I notice that he, he watches me a lot when I come in there. Um, there are other Instacart shoppers that come in there and they do their thing. They don't particularly bother them because I watch that. Like I watch everything that goes on, even though I mean, I seem like I'm watching. And, but for some reason, like, like when I come in there, he gives me this nasty look and it's not like, you know, he, it's not like I'm being paranoid. It's like, I'm, it's not like I'm, you know, assuming that I know what I see and I know what I'm experiencing and the moment I walk in there he gives me this look like you know and so and then and now let me tell you one day this is about a month or two ago I went in there um shortly before my my um I started my batch and this one manager um because inside the store there's like a little area where you can drink coffee you know like where you can buy coffee and lattes and stuff like that and you know you know pastries and stuff and so i went over there because one it's one particular uh employee i know her and so she's really really nice and everything so like we always laugh and kick jokes you know you know crack jokes you know just kick it you know and so she uh said hey girls hey so we just talked for a little bit and she made me something to drink and the moment i walked in there this one particular manager, I don't really know too much about him, but he comes flying over there and he stands and he watches me. Like he's staring at me like up and down, you know, and to see what we're talking about. And so I'm looking at, as I looked at him. And so he just, he's still standing at me like, and what kind of look, you know? And so anyway, I, I went back to, you know, to continue my conversation with her. We like, yeah, girls, everything's good. So we just talked a little bit and, and he watches me. And so I'm like, what is he doing? And so he wasn't even thinking about coming over there. It's just the moment he saw me coming over, he stood, he just watched me the whole time. And so I got my uh, little coffee and I walked off, you know, we, you know, you know, said, all right, see you later. And so that's one thing. And so, um, but today, this morning I did an Instacart order and, um, this one particular manager that always gives me the dirty looks when I come in there cause he follows me. And so, um, the, like when he seen, cause I was just scanning groceries, you know, minding my own business. And he stopped and he looked at me, he gave me this nasty look. Like he was like, you know, and I've never had no conversations with this man. I never said nothing to him, but I noticed that even like when I check out, because there are some, there are some cashiers there who give me a hard time when I come in there. And I, I don't know if it's just me. Cause I'm, I don't know if they do to other shoppers, but, um, this only, this only like, like, like a couple of them there who, who just seem like they just have like this nasty attitude, you know, but I just try to make sure I come in there and I'm out. But, um, you know, but he just watches me every time I come in there when I check out, um, and stuff like that. And like, you know, one time I seen this one, one guy, he was like taking notes. Like I noticed like, like whenever I come there, he'll stand up by the register and like, he'll start taking notes, whatever. I don't care. But this one guy, like, so I paid that no mind. I'm still scanning groceries. So as I was getting ready to, um, shop for like my last few things, I was in the produce section and I felt somebody behind me. Cause like, you know how you, how you know, like when someone's behind you. And so like when I, um, I turned around, it was him and he was looking over my shoulder, looking at my app to see what I was doing. And so I turned around and I gave him this look like, what do you like, you know? And so he turned his head real quick. And he was like, I'm like, really? It was so obvious that he was doing that to me on purpose. And so I watched him go around me and he went up to another manager and they were sitting there laughing and stuff, you know? So I'm like, what is that all about? See, stuff like that is what I did with. I don't know about anybody else, but yeah. I even go through it with some some other not too many maybe like like two or three. I have some there's some Instacart shoppers that that are petty just like that. You know they'll watch you in the store and like they're not supervisors, they're not mentors, they're not managers. You know they're not. Um, but you know, but I I find myself especially like you know w what shocks me is that even dealing with some issues with other I hate to say this but other African Americans and so um, females like I see some black females you know that are just petty you know, and, you know, trying to circle around me, like, like when they see me in the store, you know, giving me nasty looks up and down, you know, petty. And so, um, I don't pay that no mind because, you know, like I said before in my previous videos, we all in the same boat, but unfortunately some people forget that, you know, we working for the same master, if you understand what I'm saying. And so I don't get into that kind of stuff, but what I'm saying is that Instacart will not protect you when you are being harassed by, um, shoppers or, um, other employees with these grocery stores 
or even um you know uh customers and so you know is it a big deal kind of but not really because you have to take some things with a grain of salt but you know i just kind of feel like um it's personal especially when it comes to these particular supervisors and these managers because um it's not a coincidence that when i come in there they keep doing that um you know and even like when i check out i'm very like i, I make sure that i'm just straight to the point um it, it, depending on if i'm close with some of these you know grocery clerks or not because some, some of them I'm, I'm, I'm very close to so like you know we tight like that but some of them you know they you know get kind of personal and so like i just stick to the point it, at least most of the time and so um but i'm just noticing like a trend a pattern with these particular men um at this particular store that i've been going to and um and my thing is you know why i'm being followed i don't know um but i just noticed that since i had that incident with that one girl I've just, I've just been noticing that, and you know, people talk, and so um, Instacart isn't, isn't going to do anything because even my zone manager basically didn't fend for me when th that girl called and lied on me, you know, so it's like, I'm kind of like by myself here, and so it's not something that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be sitting up at night biting my nails over and shaking and worrying or anything like that, but I am going to call it out. I am going to point it out, and so my thing is, this is the way I feel, okay, so if most of these grocery stores have cameras, which they all do, I don't see there should be any issue with me bringing a camera in there or um, bringing some type of recording device uh, to protect myself. Because think about it, you know, I don't see why Instacart or any other company would try to prevent us from doing that or having a recording device if we're going into a grocery store and they're recording us without our permission. Think about it, you're going to a grocery store, you're shopping, and of course they use it for protection and also to prevent theft and things like that. Um, but my thing is, you know, I'm talking about a different issue. And so with these cameras, they only see so much that, you know, you, you really can't hear a whole lot because um, you can only see, you know. So my thing is, you know, I was considering um, and I have recorded some stuff. I have taken pictures and stuff like that. But even dealing with situations like this, um, which, which I think is very petty. And, and of course, I know this particular grocery chain does not want to get sued, you know. And now if I were to take these people to court, I would have a reason to do that. Like I would actually have just cause, you know, and, um, and my thing is, I don't see why a person would even, you know, especially working in a grocery store, knowing that there's cameras everywhere, do somebody, just treat somebody like that, you know? And so also, you know, I also look at the fact that you have a lot of these guys in here, um, whether they're managers or not, you know, who might be attractive or probably used to women treating them a certain kind of way or, um, you know, accepting their advances or flirting with them. And then you got some that don't do that. Then all of a sudden they, they take it personal, you know. Um, but at the same time, if some of these cashiers go to a manager and lie on you, because they do that often, like I've, I've experienced that, like, like they will lie to a manager on you or they'll have an attitude with you and then go back and tell on you. And then now the managers are watching you. You see what I'm saying? That's the kind of stuff I deal with. Um, I don't know about y'all, but you know, I just, and I know some cashiers, they try to keep it neutral and stuff like that. But you know, especially with me doing these videos, I'm sure that I'm a target and stuff, but you know, I just don't think that it's right to uh, keep quiet about stuff, especially when it's happening and, and you know, nothing's getting done about it. You see? Um, but that's just me. And, um, at this point, you know, it's not something that I'm going to continuously worry about. But my thing is, I am going to start making sure that I videotape stuff, I'm, I, that I'm recording stuff, I'm documenting stuff. And I'm not just talking about it as, as I'm doing Instacart, but I'm also referring to when I go into the store, period. Um, because I, I sure would hate for this to escalate, you know, uh, to escalate and then, you know, go to court or go to, you know, you know, it's just, it's, it's not worth it. But um, Instacart is not the kind of company that I would really worry about and say, hey, you know, this is, you know, it is what it is because they're already involved in a lawsuit and things like that. Now, do I think they're going to get another one. Yeah. But you know, I'm, I'm already to the point in my life where I just like, I have not focused so much on Instacart to the point where, um, I'm worried and I'm, you know, I'm overly concerned anymore and things like that, you know, because even in dealing with this type of situation with these, with some of these petty people in these grocery stores, you know, um, even, even God has to deal with me about some stuff and how I respond to it. Because, you know, for one thing, you know, it's one thing to just brush stuff off and just say, you know what, it is what it is. And it's another thing to actually say something about it. So my thing is, if they're going to follow me around, I need to make sure that I have, you know, proof that they're doing it. And I do. And so another thing is, is that sometimes when things happen, you know, God is watching your character. 
you know, and I know that's something that a lot of us deal with when we respond to situations and deal with, with people that don't treat us right. You know, we have to make sure that our response is right, because I know part of me wanted to say something to him when he did that to me this morning, you know, and, and, I, and it wasn't like he was looking for something because he wasn't. He was follow, he's, he's been following me since I've been coming in there. Like they follow me around and stuff. And I'm not crazy. I'm not paranoid. I know what I see. I know what I'm experiencing. And so when I caught him doing that today, I turned and I looked at him because he was looking over my shoulder. I'm like looking at him like, like what is he doing? He looked away. And so it's, it's things like that. And as much as I, and as much as I want to say the name of the store, and I would love to call out their name. I'm not going to do that um, because I know that will cause problems. And I don't know who's watching this and stuff. And so not that I care, but um, but I know for me, I'm at a place where God is starting to bring me a lot of peace, a lot of joy, and. Um, you know, and even dealing with people like this is teaching me a lot about business because I'm working on some business endeavors. And so, um, you know, I'm learning from other people's mistakes, you know, and how to treat people and how not to treat people, you know, and, and also b believing what the word says in Ephesians is we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. You know, we, it, it's against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this age, spiritual wickedness and high places. You know, I know that I'm not just dealing with people in the flesh. You know, this is a spiritual thing. And sometimes, you know, we, we come against people and things um, and, it's, and it's supposed to get us distracted and keep us off of our guard and cause us to miss a blessing. And I want to make sure that I don't miss a blessing because of dealing with stupid people. You know, um, I hate to say that, but you know, I ain't gonna say stupid people. I take that back dealing with issues with people you know um and the bible does say that we are dealing with fools like there are people that you deal with that are fools and so um you know i'm not saying that they're fools but i'm just saying like just dealing with stuff that you know don't really make no difference no more and um uh, but i am focusing on other stuff i guess in this season and so some of this stuff it, it ain't that big a deal but I just want to let y'all know, so y'all won't think I'm crazy, because I've gotten some comments, and some comments have been, oh, well, you know, producing videos like this is going to prevent Instacart from getting people to work for them, and it's going to hurt them, which is not, because they're still hiring people. Like, like, we have over, excuse me, 100 shoppers in our zone, so it ain't like it's a big deal, or it's going to hurt the company. No, it's not. And some people say, well, are you sure you're not just being paranoid? No, I'm not paranoid. I know, I know what I'm experiencing. You know, it's almost like when a person is a victim of a crime, and then they begin to talk about what, what they're going through or begin to, to, to say it or, or go up to the police. And then the police are like, are you sure that happened to you? Or are you sure you, you weren't the one that started? Or I mean, um, are you sure like, you know, you weren't seeing things? You know, that that's just, that's kind of how it feels. But, um, you know, I am learning as I'm going and even dealing with, you know, even, even other shoppers here in my area um, that aren't even as nice. And so, you know, I just don't think it's a big deal because I'm shopping for groceries. You know, I'm not working at a Fortune 500 company or Fortune or Fortune 100 company. I'm not working and making 50, 60, 80 thousand dollars a year. It's not. It's not like that. And so, um, I just wanted to share that with y'all because I, I, I just felt like the, this just felt like to share that with you this morning. And um, and I know that I've, I've seen other shoppers. I've seen their posts. I've seen their text messages. Like they've they've experienced a lot of issues with other people from uh, grocery stores as well. And Instacart won't do nothing about it. And that's scary. But my thing is, I don't, I, I wouldn't take a company personal if they're not going to fend for me. You know, they want you to follow all these rules, and they'll threaten to deactivate you if you don't. But they'll never say anything about helping you and protecting you when you're um, being harassed and being, uh, you know, messed over by customers and being messed over by people that work in these stores, you know, because it's about the bottom line. It's about the almighty dollar. And so I won't take that too personal or take it too serious. But at the same time, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, at a place where I'm focusing on other things. And so that's why, like, I may not make as many videos as much as I used to, but I may make, make them every once in a while. Um, but anyway, y'all, um, I, I just kind of feel like peace this morning, you know, and I won't let the devil steal my joy cause he won't. And, um, just want y'all to be encouraged. And I know how frustrating this, this gig economy can be, but just try to make it the best way you can. Just do what you do and keep it moving. God bless y'all.